uh, welcome to a rather windy day. It's a lovely sunshine, uh, but it's windy. Um, I'm going to be doing some work on the 75 today and I'm uh, going to be doing the brakes. And you're probably wondering why I've got the bonnet open. Well, underneath here is the um, brake reservoir, so we need to get that off so we can open it. And when you push the pistons back in, um, you know, you can do it easily because otherwise there's a there's an airlock. Um, so we walk down to the back of the car. This is windy. I don't know if it's picked up on the phone. Right, so we have a complete set of front brakes, including the pads, toolbox with everything in it, a digital camera for close-up work. I've got some air, compressed air. Uh, I've got some PMA brake cleaner. So that's good. Uh, wire brush for cleaning off the pads. Uh, caliper, sorry. Uh, copper grease. Lithium grease. Rags for wiping stuff down, because I'll need that when I'm cleaning the discs off. Uh, and obviously a pair of gloves, which is really, really useful. But one other thing I've got to do, there is a pin there. My washer jets are out of alignment, so I need to do that. And I'm going to do that first. So, let's do that now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, turn the car on and turn on the washer jets so you can see how bad it is. There's only one hitting the windscreen there and the other one, yeah, the other one is also missing. So it's the two inner jets which are pointing low, so they need to be raised. One is literally spraying against the bonnet. So yeah, I'm gonna adjust those and then come back. Okay, a bit shaky there, but put the needle back down again. There we go. Um, so right, let's give this another try. It only needs to be adjusted very, very small, small, slightly. Well, that's better on that side, definitely. On the other side? Yes, that's much better. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's better than what it was. So, we, yeah, let's move on. So, job number one done. Let's move them gloves. I uh, completely forgot to uh, grab my keys for the toolbox earlier, so I'd go home and get it. Never mind. I'm uh, filming in a different location because my road is hilly and it's not always the easiest. Right, so we got that undone. And uh, yeah, I found a, found a socket in the car, so let's put that in there. Right, let's get all this out and onto the floor next to the car. Right, we have everything we need. Digital camera for filming. It is a bit windy, so I'll probably overlay that with some music. Uh, jack, the arm for the jack. Uh, wheel nut thingy, I forgot what that's called. Toolbox, all the sockets and stuff, spray cans, greases, brakes obviously, and axle stands. So, yeah, let's get this car jacked up off the ground and put those axle stands underneath it. So what I've done is I've put the jack or the axle stand on this brace and it does go all the way around the front of the car across here. So it is a uh, structural part of the car. 
sorry, um, that is structural. So yeah, I'm gonna get this wheel off and have a look at this disc and pads. Squeaky. Right, last one. Let's have a look under here, shall we? Let's get this out. I'll put it down by the side of the car. Because really, it's always good practice to put the wheel under the side of the car. Just in case the uh, anything fails, it's going to land on the wheel and not you. Okay, so we have quite a considerable lip and the, uh, yeah, we get the shades off and so I can see inside around the back. It's not looking overly crusty. There's not much left on these pads at all. I'll grab you from your tripod. Can you see? There you are. I can't see because I don't have a viewfinder because the light's too so bright. But yeah, that pad, there's not, not a lot of meat on it. I can't see the one on the inside. But uh, yeah, we'll get these off and have a look. Let's get you angled so you can see. Yep. Right, so I need something to get this off. little rubber rollers on there so that they can I'm not sure how they hook off ah hang on that's one that's the other does that come out looks like it does there we go there we go that's out okay to give that a clean up in a bit right we now have some bolts on the back of the carry the caliper not the carrier. So the plastic covers, they come off. One at the top, one at the bottom. Oh, where'd that go? There it is. Okay, so there's the tool needed. And I did test it the other day and it fits nicely. That's good. Need an extension bar because you've got the brake hose in the way. I don't, need, I don't think I need a very long extension bar, just enough I can get in there so I can undo it. Since I've had the car, I, I haven't undone these before. Okay. Oh. Might need to uh, do this from under the car. Oh, there we go, he's got it. Oh, there we go. That's come undone. That's good. Some bits falling into my eyeballs. Right, there we go. Don't know if you can see that. There's a threaded bar. It's very dry. Let's put that there. Try and get the top one out now. There you come. Oh, one of the pads is trying to be liberated already. God, that's heavy. That's a heavy caliper. That weighs an absolute ton. Right. One is actually physically mounted into the piston via a big metal clip there. There is quite a bit of meat on there, but it doesn't look very nice at all. Um, I'm just going to rest that on top of the, the hub, or the disc even. And let's try and get that. Well, that's come out quite easily. But yeah, they're looking quite crusty and quite damaged around the edges. If you can make that out at all. But uh, yeah, I'm going to change these. I'm still doubting whether I need to change these discs. 
because they look fine there's no scoring there's just a small lip on the very edge I don't really see the point in replacing both but uh, yeah we're trying we'll give this caliper a clean up I've got the wire brush and uh, yeah if only I'd brought a jet bungee rope with me I could hang it up because the last thing you want to do is put stress on the hoses as as most of us know if you don't know whatever you do don't put stresses on these because they, they can break quite easily and then you'll, you won't have any brakes you're screwed but right I'm going to give this a clean up with a wire brush and I'll come back to you and we've got to get this piston to go back in as well so that and the uh, the face of that needs a good old clean so yeah back in a sec Okay, I don't know if you, you saw anything of previous to that because for some reason my view, viewfinder was just black. Anyway, um, just to quickly recap, just in case you didn't see it, took off the pads and they are a bit on the thin side, don't you think? And a bit crusty. So, yeah, I'm going to change them. But I looked at these discs, or well, this disc was to start with, and they're, they're in really good condition. Hello. Um, there's a tiny little lip there, but apart from that, there's like hardly any wear. Apart from obviously where the pad has stuck, obviously when I haven't been using the car due to lockdown. But anyway, let's go around to look at the other side of the car. I'm taking the wheel off of this one, I haven't taken the brake pads off just yet. But this one's just the same, so I really don't see the point in changing the discs. There's a small microscopic lip on that, not a lot at all. So I am really doubting hello, uh, whether I should change these discs. So yeah, I might just push the pistons back in, put the new pads in, grease up the carrier and the caliper and just bolt it all back together again. Okie dokes, right, I've com completely forgot to film stuff while I was doing it, which is typical me. Um, so, yeah, pushed the piston back in. Um, I've checked the level on the um, bottle for the brake fluid, and it's up to near maximum. So, um, I've put the pad into the caliper. It's a clip-in one. I've put the copper grease on. As you can see, there's copper grease there. Hopefully, you can see that on the screen. So, what I'm going to do now is flip it round without breaking anything. I'll well, try not to. This thing's heavy. And see if I can get this on here. Oh no, the piston's got to go in further. Poo sticks. Cut, cut the film, cut the film. Okay, my brain's not working right. It's still below maximum and when I tried to put the caliper back on, as you, as you saw, uh, it wouldn't go in. It's, it's literally a couple of millimetres. Um, but I, it looks like I'm going to have to wind it back all the way. So what, what's going to happen when I do... I want to zoom out. This side is that it, what is going to happen is the fluid is going to come up even higher. So... I don't know, that could cause an issue. I'm not sure. Um, if I have to bleed this, it could be a new problem because I don't have a bleed kit. But we will see what happens. Right, let's put this kit back in. My uh, modified... Oops. My modified caliper piston pusher thing put two cut two sockets in there I'm just gonna need to un unwind this I need to put that back in and then wind that back out again actually I can just do that can't I yeah wake up I know this is for the back of a car I know this and it's a winding one which uh, probably mentioned this already um, did it for the Volkswagen let's just move that slightly let's go central with the piston don't want it going in an angle I, I would have to stop and take keep checking 
the uh, fluid level. But yeah, pushing this back in, do it very gently so you because the rubbers inside apparently can flip over. So it is going, I can feel it. But it was literally a few mil so that the uh, brakes would fit and that's all it needs. There's a friend of mine having a look at the level for me. going up can you tell? Cool. I'm hoping this works. See I'm not I'm concerned whether I should just push it all the way back as far as the piston will go. I've had motorcycle pistons do this and they've uh, the rubbers have split and they've, well, they've started leaking because the internal um, seals have gone and I always I worry about doing this stuff it's reached its uh, maximum yeah the tool is no longer pushing the piston because it's uh, it needs more um, yeah it stopped pushing the piston need a longer socket in there um, Let's undo this a minute. Or is there something flat I can put in here to kind of like, there must be something flat I can put in between. Spanner, that'll do. That'll work. Maybe. Now it's starting to push it out of the way. How frustrating! Sorry, I'm, my arm's completely in the way of the camera. Wonderful filming. It's going in, I can feel it now. Now it's trying to push the spun out of the way again. You're going up. Okay. Right, so my friend has said to me it's on maximum. Right, I'm going to give that a try. Okay, let's get this caliper back in. Try not to get any grease on the pads, as I did just now. Come on, in you go. If it comes to it, I may have to force the piston in while this is the pad is sat here. And I really don't want to do that because I could damage it. Right, you're on camera, I believe. Hopefully still. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because the car's on jacks, um, I've put the caliper back together. Um, the pads are in there. Um, tightened everything up. Oh, I need to put in the metal clip, don't I? Don't wanna forget that. I need this to go in here. Hang on. Where's the hammer gone? Or do I even need a hammer? I don't think I do. Um, come on, on you go.
Oops. Right. Where's that hammer gone? In the boot where it doesn't need to go. Right. So. Okay, so hopefully that's in the right position. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in the car and my friend who's gonna, who's I've been chatting to, is gonna let me know what's going on from this side. Fingers crossed. Side spinning quite freely. That's a concern. This could cause some heat. Okay, so I can turn that side. There is a bit of resistance, which is not good the other side and I'll take you with me. I haven't got much time left on the camera, I've only got a couple of minutes left. I'm going to, have to switch to the mobile phone. Same resistance. Yeah, there is the same resistance on that side even though it's in neutral. So actually that's freeing up a little bit. But these pads have got to come out as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Brake dust. Um, but that's on maximum. So when I, yeah, this is going to be awkward. I will come back to you guys when I've when I've got everything sorted out. But at the moment, yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit.